We're back today with Kate Kilo, a University of Michigan second semester freshman. Kate, where are you from? Um, I'm actually from Denver, Colorado, so I'm quite a ways away from home, but yeah, Michigan's like my second home now, I guess. I love that. So how is Ann Arbor similar or different from Colorado? I guess it's actually similar and different, mm -hmm. like in the same way. So like the weather, obviously Michigan's known for like pretty snowy winters. Mm -hmm. And I guess like Colorado's known for like the same thing, yeah. like skiing, snowboarding and stuff like that. But actually it's also like different in the same way because I feel like Colorado snow is a lot worse than okay. Michigan snow, at least from what I've experienced so far. And also Colorado is like super dry, mm. whereas I found Michigan to be like pretty humid. Yeah. So it's it's quite an adjustment, but no, it it's definitely nice. must be. But that is nice that you don't have to deal with not having four seasons. Yeah, that's so. like one thing I look like especially <laughs> for is like I need the four seasons so then like my mind doesn't get all wonky because I feel like if I just basically had summer all year round, it would mm -hmm. just everything would blend into each other, and I don't really like that too much. So yeah, I needed some variety. <laughs> Absolutely. So what has been your favorite class so far? Um, so, so far I've taken Organic Chemistry 1, um, Psych 111, English 125, and then there's one more. I'm spacing on the other one, but that's all right. Which one was your favorite? Uh, my though? favorite one, though, out of those ones, was definitely organic chemistry. Okay, which okay. sounds really weird, but I really, really did like my professor a lot. I had Professor Montgomery, really great professor, and he honestly made me want to come to class every mm -hmm. single day and made me interested in it. So that definitely helped a lot. So was he your favorite professor as well, Ben? I think so, definitely. Yeah. Sweet. What dorm do you live in? Uh, right now, I live in South Quad. I live on the eighth floor, mm. Thronson. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty How do you feel about dorm life? What's the food like? Um, I'm personally not a big fan of dining hall food. Okay. But I know some people are, but personally, I'm not. Like, I'd rather have my own kind of stuff that I personally like a lot yeah. rather than just a bunch of like random small things like in the dining hall also there's never really any like grilled chicken mm. which really annoys me because I'm a very like plain Jane person when it comes to yeah. food and so sometimes I just want like grilled chicken and potatoes mm -hmm. but no nope, can't have that that comfort food exactly. always comes from home it's the best so what do you think you might want to study uh, right now, I think my major is cellular molecular biology. Ooh, okay, that's a hard but, one. What do you want to do with that? Um, I think I want to change it, but okay. I'm still not really sure. I want to like test out maybe the public health kind of track. Um, I think I want to be a physician's assistant, but that's also still kind of, you know, I have a lot of time to figure that out. Absolutely. So you want to be a PA. Have you gotten involved in any extracurriculars regarding that? Yes. Or what are you involved in? Um, actually, I just recently joined the pre-PA club, and so that's actually been really helpful with like learning about like what PAs actually do, mm -hmm. how like the process to apply to schools, and even getting like opportunities through that. So that's been really nice, and also like. I am a student athlete, so I swim for Michigan. And every Thursday, um, student athletes actually volunteer at Mott's Children's Hospital um, at mm. night, and we go to different rooms and like just talk to the kids. And honestly, like it's it's just a, such a fun time to like go there and be there. And so I guess that is kind of related to physicians' like assistant work because I do get to like see a hospital and like how things work in there. Absolutely, I think it's really awesome that even as a freshman, you're still giving back to the community in that sense. So given all that, what advice do you have for next year's incoming freshmen? That's a tough question. Um, honestly, I guess just come in with no expectations. Okay. Just because you don't want to set your bar so high and then have, or even so low and have college be completely different. Mm -hmm. I think it's better just coming in with a clear mind and just kind of, putting yourself into a completely new situation and letting the course take its course, not really expecting anything out of it. That's awesome. All right, guys, this is Kate. This is Newsfeed. Thanks so much.